Hello, this is Lucas, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to use text fields in Java Effects. So, at the moment, all we have is I have just a normal V box here, and we have five uh, fields. We have two labels, two text fields, and a button, and that just gets all added to our V box. So, if I just run this program quickly, this is how it looks like. Now we have a label, text field, another label, text field, and then the button. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little program that whenever we click this button, an event listener will be triggered and it will just display the content that we put inside of these two text fields. Okay. So firstly, we need to create our event listener. So firstly, we need to call this button. So we'll do a BTM. We'll do dot set set on action. Okay. And then we're going to do E and we're going to just print it out. So whenever there's an event, we just want it to print out something. That's all we wanted to, to do. Whenever it hears an event, just do this. So let's see if this works firstly, before we start doing anything else. So we'll just do pressed. Let's do a little test. Let's press this and you can see that whenever we click this button, we get an output of pressed. So that's working now. So now let's actually get the values from these text fields. So the way to do that is, let's just do a print statement here. Let's do first uh, first name, equal that to, and then we're gonna plus. Now we wanna call this text field, so we're gonna call tf1, tf1 dot get text. And what this is gonna do is, it's just gonna get the text that we insert in the text field and it's gonna save it as a shrink. And in this case, we're just gonna print it out. And then we can do the exact same thing for the last name. So make sure I have space here, last name. And then let's do last, uh, sorry, no, we do TF2, because we don't wanna, we're not calling the label, we're calling the text field, we do TF2, and then we do the same thing, dot get text. And we save that, we run this, Let's insert our name in here. So we'll do Lucas, yeah, Tujus. And then when we, whenever we submit this, where, or whenever we click a button, you can see that our first name gets displayed and our last name gets displayed, whatever we insert into here. Now, let's say though we have some kind of uh, system that whenever we click this button, this data gets uh, processed somewhere and we want to reset this. So the way we can do that is you can see we have this here. Now in here, let's uh, change this around. We can do this now. Ooh, let's remove this. Okay, Ooh, let's go back. Don't want any of that. Uh, text. All right. And now what we're gonna do after uh, this thing here. So let's see, is uh, this? Yep, let's do that. Make sure this is added inside. Uh, so let's get all of this. Let's add this in here, like that. We need a semicolon here. And now let's just reset this. So we do uh, tf one dot set text, and we're just gonna set it as nothing. So this text field, whenever we click the button, we will print out the values that are in the text fields, and then we're just gonna re reset those text values. Well, not reset. We're just gonna set the text to none. Okay. And then set text, and then we'll just do the same thing. And now whenever we run this. Let's put in our name in here. Now, whenever I click this button, we're gonna print out these two values, and then we're gonna set the text of these two text fields to not to an empty string. So submit, this gets printed out, first name Lucas, last name Yatujus, and then you can see this gets reset. Okay, so that's about it for this video on text fields. I hope this video was helpful, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.